Hello there, I'm artist Aaron Rutten, and in this video I'm going to do a follow-up to my Particle Shop video. Since Particle Shop 1.1 has been released, which adds new non-destructive functionality to Particle Shop, I thought I'd share that with you. So I have a piece of artwork open here in Photoshop, and I'm going to go to Filter, Painter, Particle Shop. And in version 1.1 of Particle Shop, there's this new dialog that says, we recommend you create a copy of the selected layer, object, or image before you paint in Particle Shop. Do you want to return to your application and create a copy now? And if we want to work non-destructively and have our brush strokes appear on a separate layer, we're going to want to return to application, and we're going to want to right-click on the background layer or your flattened image and go to Duplicate Layer. And on this duplicate layer, that's where we will apply the Filter, Painter, Particle Shop. And we'll get this same warning dialog again. If you get sick of seeing this, you can always uncheck it. Let's go ahead and launch Particle Shop this time. And essentially what this is going to do is this is going to show us the background of our artwork and we'll be able to paint upon that. But then when we go to apply this effect, we can actually remove the background and just have the brush strokes show up on their own. So let's go ahead and choose flame here. And I'm gonna put in some flames on this tree. We'll make this tree look like it's on fire. Maybe we'll go on over to the light it up brush pack. Each of these brush packs are available separately and let's go to laser. And let's go ahead and pull up our color picker. Let's pick kind of a sun color. Let's add in some sun rays here like this. And we'll make our brush a bit bigger so those rays go further out. And if we want to do a little blending, we could choose the blender here. And we could blend this a little bit just to kind of soften it up and help it look a little more organic. We can also erase using the eraser. That's also a good way to kind of knock back some things. And then when we're ready to composite this into Photoshop, let's click on Save, and we get another option here. Do we want to merge the brush strokes with the current content, or do we want to save the brush strokes on their own? And the second option is recommended for non-destructive editing. That's what we want. We'll save only the brush strokes. And you can see that it went ahead and threw away that background layer. So now we have just these brush strokes on their own layer. And of course, we could also change the blend mode to screen to help the layers blend together better. You could play with some of the other blend modes here, like multiply and hard light. And if you don't like those effects, you can delete that layer or hide that layer. You can also apply effects to that layer. You could go to image, adjustments, hue saturation. And you could change the color of the fire if you want ugly blue fire. So now what do we do if we want to continue adding more layers of brush strokes? What we'll do is we'll go ahead and select all the layers in our composition, and we'll go ahead and right click on them, and we'll choose Duplicate Layers. And with those duplicates, we'll go ahead and merge them with Control E. And now you could just think of this as a temporary background that we're gonna paint on. So we'll go ahead and apply the Filter Painter Particle Shop to that layer. Let's select the Diffused Brush, and let's add a little more detail to the sun here. Now keep in mind that you'll have control over the blending with the blend mode after you go ahead and composite this. So there's this weird dark ring, but that will go away after I click save and save only brush strokes. And then I change the blend mode to screen. And there you go. And you could even transform these. I could scale this up if it's not big enough. I could make it bigger like so using free transform. I could also take it and move it around somewhere else if I want to put it over here in the sky. And then again, if I don't like any of those effects, I can just delete those layers and put it back to how it was. So that's how you can use Particle Shop with non-destructive editing. If you found this video helpful, take a quick second to like it and share it with your artist friends. And if this is your first time watching my videos, take a quick second to subscribe to my channel to get updates when I release new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.